Welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you guys. My name is Dan, Dan Dupree's Disc Golf. Today we're doing a review of a disc that we already reviewed, but this time we're doing it in a different plastic and I'm kind of giving it a second chance here because honestly, I'm not going to lie. If you haven't checked out my review before, go check it out. It's up here. I was pretty harsh. So I want to relook at this disc, tell you if there's anything that is actually useful about this disc. We're here, Bonneville Baptist Disc Golf Course. Let's play a couple holes and talk about the Zone OS. Hole one here is 186 feet, par three, basket's right there. I'm actually not gonna throw the Zone OS first. I'm gonna throw my Brian Earhart Tour Series Zone first. This is the most overstable putter I have in my bag. So let's see how this one flies first and then we'll compare it to the Zone OS. Saw that one kind of just went straight, got to about 45 degrees and then skipped a little bit. Let's throw the Zone OS for comparison now. So yeah, you can see the difference there. That thing basically got vertical. Came out of my hand, maybe just on a Hera hyzer, uh, but it was basically vertical by the time it hit the ground. Um, and that makes for some pretty big rolls, it makes for some pretty big skips, uh, but let's go put those out. So obviously the first use of this disc here is just for an overstable putter. Um, you know where this disc is gonna go. It's gonna go left. It's gonna dump out of the air. It's not gonna get pushed around by the wind. So that is a useful factor about it. Um, if you're playing in places that are super windy, this could be something that you need, especially for the springtime when things are getting even windier. There personally haven't been a lot of opportunities when I've been playing that I've needed something more overstable than my zone there. But you never know, some people might just like something that's more stable. Let me tell you a secret. This disc, I got on sale. Because I got it at BR Disc Golf. And I used code Dupree's 10 and I got 10% off. I get that discount anytime I want. And here's the thing, you can as well. You can get your Zone OS or other Tour Series discs, other Discraft discs, or a ton of different manufacturers. So go check it out. Use the code. You won't regret it. All right, hole two, 238. Realistically, I don't think I'm going to make it to this basket forehand or backhand here. But it's a great opportunity to talk about the second thing that I think this disc is really good for. And that is chop over forehands. Sometimes when you're in the woods, you just need something that you can push through tight gaps and reliably have come out. Let's give it a little forehand here. Uh, let's see if we can get it anywhere close. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. So yeah, just a crazy amount of Anheuser there. It was able to fight all the way out and get back onto the hyzer angle. Left myself with a bit of a putt here, uphill. There we go. Oh, <laughs> higher than you think every time, but not like that. There's a badger that lives inside this hill and it is just clearing the dirt out of this hill. We need to get rid of that. We used some cayenne pepper earlier in the year and I really didn't like that. So maybe we'll do that again. Hole for 186. I'm actually gonna give this an Anheuser look here. Just nice and soft. See if I can get a big, nice S turn out of it and see if we can land it relatively soft. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think that's outside the island. I tried to put some Annie on that and it just kind of immediately fought out of it. I'm gonna throw this zone on Anheuser too. Yeah, so that's such a pretty flight. You could see that on that Anheuser, it kind of just slowly panned out and came back where the Zone OS kind of just, it just ate the Anheuser. It didn't even really notice it, which is kind of crazy. So lots of torque resistance and you're never going to have to worry about burning it over accidentally or anything like that. So two last things I want to focus on today with this disc is uh, spike hyzers. Very curious about how it spike hyzers. And the second thing that I think actually might be the only reason that I would potentially bag this disc is for its skipping ability. But first, before we get there, let's do some spike hyzers. 211, I'm actually gonna try a grenade because of these trees on this side. Oh, <laughs> hit the power line. I'm gonna grab that and throw one more time. Yeah, that's crazy. That's like straight up, straight down. Doesn't go very far, but very straight insanely straight. I have to say though, with that really blunt edge, it honestly hurts the fingers a lot. Uh, it didn't feel super great. Just gotta putt with the Zone OS, I guess. 
Okay, I'm probably 175, 200 feet away from that basket there. This isn't a real hole. I just kind of made it up because the sun coming this way is crazy bright. It's insane. It's hard to even film this way. Uh, we're going to go back at this basket here. Uh, let's do a spike hyzer and see how it handles that. You know what? That <laughs> That's actually really nice. Throwing it on that much hyzer, it basically never deviated from the line. It just went straight up and straight down landed if you give it more forward momentum it might skip a little bit um but it was basically just lawn darts aim where you want to put it go up go down it's not moving off that line pretty crazy for spike hyzers hole seven 214 baskets just down there the last thing i want to highlight with this disc is its ability to skip uh, because of this really blunt edge as soon as it gets on hyzer like that and hits the ground it always kind of just flare skips <laughs> that was pretty cool. I put that a lot higher than I wanted to, but even on that angle, it still hit and ended up riding forward and around another like 50, 60 feet. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's parked. Let me give you one more example of how it skips. I'm going to show you one more skip. We're back at the land of make-believe. Wow, the land of make-believe. Sometimes you might find yourselves in a situation like this where you have a mando or even just like a single mando where you need to go around it, uh, but you don't have enough room to throw an air shot. So this is where something like this comes in handy. You can give it enough spin, hit it on the ground, and flare skip around the corner. I'm gonna throw the Zona West, and I'm also gonna throw the cap wrap, because that's usually what I use for shots like this. <laughs> so yeah, that hit in the middle of the mando there, skipped all the way to the basket. Interesting. Okay, there's actually a pretty big difference there between the cap wrap and the Zone OS. The cap wrap didn't quite kind of turn the corner as drastically as the Zone OS did. So yeah, Zone OS is right here, and the cap wrap is actually just right there. You can see it. So yeah, the cap wrap hit and kind of skipped straight and out, where the Zone OS hit and it almost did a 90 degree turn. So honestly, what do I think of this disc? I think it's a little bit gimmicky still. To have a disc that's just so unbelievably overstable, it only really has a few uses, and the best I've found were spike hyzers, chop over forehands, and skip shots. For me, like I can't really merit having a disc that only has a couple uses to it. The cap wrap is a kind of a close comparison of something like that in my bag, but the thing is I can use this for a lot. It can do the exact same things the Zone OS does, but I can still throw this in a workable fashion. Overall, I don't think I would bag the Zone OS. The way I saw it skip when I was messing around with it a little bit almost made me put it in the bag. But thinking of the fact that I can do that with other discs, it doesn't really have a place in my bag. So really, it's not that bad. It doesn't suck. It's just not everybody's cup of tea. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Let me know in the comments below. Have you thrown one yet? Do you bag it? Do you like it? Do you think it's gimmicky? Either way, see you in the next one. Have a nice day.